Hey guys, it is flu season again, which means that it is time to get the flu shot. Uh, luckily, there are actually two egg-free versions. There is the recumbent, the uh, flu block is the uh, brand name of it. I did a video about that last year. That's the vaccine that I got last year. Um, this year, I actually got the uh, Flusilvax, the cell-based vaccine. So in the case of flu block, like I talked about in last year's video, you have a uh, cell line derived from the fall armyworm. It's a caterpillar from 1970. Uh, it is also slightly superior to the Flusilvax, vac Flusilvax <laughs> because it is actually 100% egg-free. So not only do you not have eggs used for production, but you also don't have the uh, vaccine virus, which is egg-grown because the uh, flu block actually doesn't even contain the virus. In Flusilvax's case, you have a cell line that comes from a cocker spaniel, from a cocker spaniel's kidneys, I believe, from 1958. Uh, and like I said, it does not use eggs in terms of the production of of the vaccine, but it does use the egg grown uh, virus. Like I said, I got flu block last year. I got it at Target actually, but I could not find it this year. It was not at Target or Walmart or any of those places, but luckily Flusilvax is, at least in my area, very uh, widely available. It is at Target, now CVS Target, um, and also at Walmart, and I think some other places as well, and my insurance covered it, so that's cool. Oh, and I got a $5 gift card. Uh, Target is doing that. I don't know. I think it's only for the flu shot. If you go get your flu shot, you get a uh, $5 gift card. If you can't find flu block or Flusilvax, don't worry about it and just go ahead and get the, the regular traditional egg grown uh, vaccine. If you haven't already seen my video is medicine vegan, check out that right here. And just briefly, no, you cannot get the uh, flu from the flu vaccine. The uh, virus is inactivated or in, again, in the case of flu block, it's not even there at all. Um, and if you do get the flu shot and still get the flu, uh, it may be shorter in duration and less intense than if you had not gotten inoculated. Finally, a uh, common criticism I hear uh, from people, uh, even people who are like, yeah, totally other vaccines, but the flu vaccine, like, uh, it's not like as effective, you know, even at the best of times you're working, you're looking at like 50 to 60% effectiveness efficacy uh, versus 98 something percent for like, you know, MMR or whatever else. Um, yeah, so why should I get the flu shot? I mean, the flu's not even that bad, right? And yeah, for most of us, yeah, the flu sucks. I mean, <laughs> I've had the flu like twice in my life and it's definitely worse than like a common cold, but Certainly not life-threatening for a lot of us, but for those of us with, you know, compromised immune systems, uh, the elderly or very, very young, little babies, uh, it can be deadly. And by inoculating ourselves, we can help to protect these people. So that's it. I do have another video, again, like I said, from last year, and then I also have one just uh, generally on vaccines that you can check out here. Um, I don't actually have, actually the Band-Aid <laughs> kind of hurt me more than the shot. I mean, the flu shot is not bad. It's like, I mean, the actual shot didn't really hurt at all. And there's a little bit of soreness afterwards, like for the rest of the day when I would kind of raise my arm up. But uh, I had to get the Tdap recently. That one, that one kind of sucks. I had some serious bruising and my arm was, was pretty sore. So this was like nothing, but the... The band-aid actually ended up hurting me more than the shot. I left it on, I guess, too long, and it kind of, like, made my skin a little raw and itchy. I think I ended up scratching it. I don't know what happened, but, uh, yeah, it's that cute cute little Target band-aid, the red with the heart. I, I liked it, so I kept it on, and I think I kept it on a little too long. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can leave your comments and questions below and all your anti-vaccine and and big pharma <laughs> nonsense below go go for it and uh if you want to subscribe subscribe and i will have a new video